Welcome back to the Engineered Angler. I finally finished the uh, the lure turner slash UV chamber slash time machine, you name it. So there it is. It is alive. Whew! It was a lot of work, uh, but I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, before I give you a full tour, check out the 20 plus hours of work in seven minutes. So check out the build.
Okay, well, here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these lures out of here. They're not really being cured. I just put them in there as artifacts so you can see them turning. And Okay, so you'll notice right away uh, the one major difference from the original drawing on the dry erase board is that I moved these, these carousels. I had originally planned to put them on the, the two ends, but I decided to put them in the middle. And that gives me a little more uh, control over where uh, these lures actually will be in, in, in respect to the lights. The carousel is on there friction only and will slide back and forth. So if I want to have extra long lures on this side and shorter ones on that side, I can. The next thing that I added to it is this control pod here. That 1930s sort of pseudo futuristic antique look. Uh, you can see here the wiring. The wiring all is on the back. So it's, it really isn't uh, in view or in the way. That's the motor. And you can see it turning. The handle I made on the lathe. That was a quick little make, a little some spacers from the same aluminum tube. But the beauty of this is that it takes all this, all that space, opens it up for me, uh, and I can work on this counter instead of having that big contraption that I used to have on there. Uh, it also acts as a turner, UV chamber, and a dusk control <laughs> for that clear finish. One of my favorite parts of the build is that I really didn't buy anything. Everything I have in here was stuff that I already had, uh, switches that were laying around, um, this just old plywood, and this, of course, the uh, cylinder that came out of that um, water softener that you saw early on in that first video. Uh, all this other stuff, the poly board, this plastic board is like this stuff. They're really inexpensive uh, cutting boards I bought at uh, Ikea for like two bucks. So any questions, certainly ask. And, and if you're planning to build one and you uh, would like some additional uh, advice, let me know. I'll, I'll do what I can. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to, to subscribe if you haven't and comment, please. Uh, and if you want to see something different, something else, if there's something in the shop uh, you're curious about, let me know. All right, catch you on the next one.